Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is on alphabetic list of problems, still on letter T. Actually, the next uh, diseases associated with this letter T is the tremor. Um, however, I think I did talk about some conditions associated with this tremor. For example, um, the deli delirium tremens, Parkinson's, and uh, uh, cerebellar problems. So these are all the major causes of tremor, and also there's another one it's called benign or essential tremors, which is really no specific cause. But uh, I think I'm going to move on to another uh, topic, actually move to the letter U. I really finish up the letter T. Uremia. That's a, uh, the first thing came to my mind. Because this uremia, it's, it's, uh, it's a definition for increase the toxins because of chronic kidney disease or could be acute could be uh, chronic but usually it's, it's the uh, chronic process um, the kidney loss function cannot um, excrete the uh, BUN and uh, also the um, the creatine so these are the uh, the causes of uremia uremia itself is very serious it's uh, caused by the chronic disease and many other diseases or organ uh, problem could be affected by this chronic uremia uh, from the brain to the uh, heart uh, to liver so all the organs can be affected by this uremia so let me just first bring up the emergency situation associated with this uremia and the emergency situation uh, you need to see the emergency room definitely because uremia usually is particularly for the acute uremia it's a marking of the uh, deterioration of the kidney function basically loss of function cannot get rid of the the waste from metabolism of the body uh, the ions and also the uh, the BUN and also the creatine so this is the um, the definition for the uremia so the emergency signs this uremia caused you uh, lost the, the capacity uh, the kidney cannot uh, uh, produce urine that's the one um, oligourea or anurea and also the iron um, accumulated particularly the potassium which is too high caused the arrhythmia and also uh, because the uremia the toxins in the body cause the, the brain damage uh, lost consciousness or altered mental status and also uremia increased the risk of infection or associated with high fever so all of these are the emergency situation you need to see the physician as soon as possible or the uh, the sudden increased body weight by the edema because the kidney cannot get rid of the waters associated with this waste um, so this is the, about the emergency situation um, and in terms of the uh, management at home you cannot I think it's for those with a chronic kidney disease have this uremia usually they're followed very closely by the specialist uh, in addition to primary care and also uh, probably if the kidney function really lost the capacity to get rid of this the, uh, the waste that probably need to do the dialysis so these are the um, really for the normal people a normal person usually the uremia is probably transient um, and can be really uh, recovered for the young healthy people it could happen but usually it's really transient um, with the treatment of kidney disease this uremia is recovered but the uremia really chronic are uh, referring to those a long-term chronic di kidney diseases so the the complications for this uremia like i mentioned uh, the brain can be affected by this toxin uh, you imagine either the too much acid or too much bio and creatine those are waste from the metabolism the brain like soaking this kind of toxins so that's called out of mental status uh, uh, encephalitis it's central so cause this problem and also I think one of the common side uh, complications for this uremia is the uh, interstitial tissue disease like the pleuritis or pericarditis 
because of this waste of uh, cause this uh, a bacteria infection uh, pleuritis or not infection actually it's the a, a bacteria cause the pleuritis or pericarditis because of this the the chemical the waste the deposit in this uh, tissues cause this inflammation that's quite common so for those people might have the chest pain uh, as the sign associated with this breathing or positional so if that's the case you probably need to see your physician um, so this message is for those who had chronic kidney disease and developed chest pain in addition to the risk factors for uh, myocardial infarction but this is probably if the uh, chest pain associated with the breathing positional and uh, so you need to see your physician just uh, regardless whether it is uh, pleuritis or uh, pericarditis or whether it is the myocardial infection but you need to see a physician and also this uremia can cause the the uh, arthritis because this uh, waste deposit in the joints cause this arthritis usually is not acute but could be swelling with the effusions so if that's the case you need to see a physician the sooner the better and the worst scenario for this uremia is the uh, oligourea, the uremia on top of the oligourea, which means there's or well, anurea, which means there's no urine produced. So the uh, body continue to metabolize, continue to produce the waste, but the kidney cannot generate any of the fluid uh, to wash them off, uh, can generate urine to wash those waste off. So that's the the worst scenario. Definitely is the the definition is less than 50 cc 24 hours or less than 500 cc 24 hours for the anurea and oligurea if that's the case you really do not hesitate find a way to go to emergency the sooner the better so this is the about the um the uremia the other complications like if you have long-term chronic kidney disease and you develop this fever uh chills um or cannot whether you take a medication to treat the fever or whether it can or cannot be brought down but you need to go to the emergency room the sooner the better to just in case because chronic kid kidney disease uremia really uh, impaired immune functions also so if that's the case you need to uh, if there's infection then uh, the body lacked the capacity or uh, decreased capacity to to fight so that's the case you need to see the emergency so this is about the uremia actually I was thinking to talk about the tremor but I uh, just the while sitting in front of the camera I realized that uh, had been talked in the different uh, videos on different topics so I just move on to the uremia I start to letter U and I hope it helps uh, this message I think this video particularly for those who had chronic kidney disease follow up with your physicians regularly primary care and the specialist and also I'm sure your physicians already alert you the warning signs to see the emergency uh, like I mentioned here so I hope it is uh, it helps and serve as uh, another reminder and thank you for watching I will see you next time